Welcome everybody, another day, another graphics card. We're gonna be looking at the RTX 3070M, which is a laptop, RTX 3070, scraped off of a, either an older PCB for a defective unit or a brand new one that wasn't actually ever manufactured, put on a custom PCB and jammed into a shipping box. So you see here closer to us, there's the 3070M, then there's also an OEM HP Omen RTX 3070 desktop next to it. We'll be testing both at the same time so you can compare and contrast with me. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and type in the uh, SMI clocks to kind of see exactly if this is as gimped as like a CMP card or if it's more or less a desktop card when it comes to being able to clock. Um, there's the default parameters. I'm going to paste in the SMI clocks command right here. And yeah, it looks like these indeed do have a pretty normal vBIOS with idle states and a bunch of different core and memory states for P0 and P8, which is great, great news. That means we'll be able to clock it to 810 for CASPA, and you can see, yep, we're going to be able to do that. So instead of showing you all the minor screens, uh, I went through, I hooked up my PMD, which is an Elmore Labs hardware device uh, to get the full riser and PCIe power consumption off this thing. And I put everything into a spreadsheet. So instead of just showing you empty minor screens, I mean, I'll leave them in partially, but let's hop over to a spreadsheet right here. And uh, yeah, we'll start off with Casper at the top. We'll see that this thing does perform pretty well. Uh, it isn't quite as good as the desktop 3070. You can see the efficiencies are still really quite good. Um, BZ minor efficiency is way better than LOL minor. That's not very surprising. Uh, given 30 series typically, in my opinion, seems to work better uh, with BZ and Mini Z and things like that than LOL Minor. Um, LOL does have a little bit better ability to uh, push clocks in. I have found problems with 20 series cards uh, when it comes to pushing in overclocks and core offsets with the command arguments, but overall pretty good. Uh, Caspian Elysium, very, very similar story. Um, you'll see that they're almost on par with efficiency. However, in Alephium, the 3070M does actually leapfrog it slightly. So, interesting. I tried to do tests on all of these core heavy algos, including Ironfish, which we'll get to at the bottom, using a 1210 and a 1470 uh, core clock. I did use a 350 core offset. Both cards were able to handle that on all of the core algos, which was great. It means the bin is actually pretty good. On everything memory-dependent, uh, I used zero offsets, so that'd be Ergo, ETC, and Kapow. And on things that are kind of in the middle, so Nexa and Flux, I did use a 150 offset. You can see that on the right column. Uh, I will say on Flux, this thing rocks. Um, with the efficient clocks, it's actually a little bit better than a desktop 3070. I do run into declocking on the core due to the uh, software power limit that the card has, which is 105 watts. But... Overall, very impressive. Uh, ETC hash, so anything Ethereum, ETC, really, really good. Uh, even at default, we'll find that the efficiency is quite a bit better, but we were able to get 67.5 mega hash out of this and still have over 0.6 efficiency. So the memory bin absolutely rocks on these. Um, pretty efficient with Kapow, over 200. I was actually really, really happy with how these performed on Kapow. And then I don't know much about Ironfish, but you can see that down here at the bottom. And yeah, the rest of this will just be going over the few minor screens that the data capture was done with. Unfortunately, the OBS capture kind of went black for almost an hour. I'm not really sure why. So feel free to look at these if you want to. Um, it's all pretty much summed up in the spreadsheet. I try to save as much of that guesswork as possible. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, this card was 175 bucks on Marketplace. I think at that price point, it's a no-brainer. Uh, worth mentioning, I did put it in Windows after this, and it straight up did not work. Uh, it would display out, but the drivers... You can go to NVIDIA's website and download the 3070 mobile laptop driver, and it won't detect. So it's just a basic video display adapter. The ports do work. Uh, I didn't try very hard, but I'm guessing this is like the 3060M where you need a hacked driver to kind of get it to work, and those really sketch me out. So if you are looking at one of these, please do not assume you can use it as an actual graphics card. It does seem like you are limited to uh, basically mining or potentially compute use cases. Other than that, maybe Linux. Uh, if you were to download maybe like a Steam Deck OS or something like that and try to game with it, maybe. 
but I did try it in Windows with up-to-date drivers and it did not register correctly. So save yourself from that. That's enough rambling from me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you next week.